Well, hello, Crappy Time friends. How y'all doing? Let's talk about one of the best things of Christmas. <laughs> Let's talk about peanut butter fudge. Now, there's lots of peanut butter fudge. There's some that use shortcuts, and that's fine. Some that use marshmallow creams, and those are good, too. They're all good. We're not here to debate that. But my, thought, my favorite by far is old-fashioned cooked peanut butter fudge. My mama makes it so very good. Mama. This is called Granny's Peanut Butter Fudge. It's Dawn's mommy. And I call it Mama's Peanut Butter Fudge because she's made it longer than Granny did for me. So it has different names. Here we go. Okay, it's a six cups of sugar. I know it's a lot, but it makes quite a bit of candy. Six cups of sugar. You're right, Mom. That is a lot of sugar. That's a lot of sugar, but you just beat one little piece <laughs> at a time. Who are you talking to? Me to justify it. And right now, this is what we call cream. One large can of cream. Evaporated milk to the rest of the world. And this just happens to be not condensed. Do not do not confuse the two. This is just plain old evaporated milk, not. Not um, use the whole can of cream. Not condensed. It's just cream, as we call it. Use a whole can of evaporated milk, and this can is twelve full ounces. And then a dash of the uh, what's on our salt. And that's all I'll we'll put in here right now. Six cups of sugar, a dash of salt, one large can of cream. Boil together until it forms a hard ball in water. Then add one stick of butter and 16 ounce jar of peanut butter. Stir until cool. I've got my peanut butter here. And, and pour in butter dish. Add nuts if desired. Uh, and I got my stick of butter. I just used a little bit to go back. So now all I'm going to do is take this to the stove and let it boil, boil, cook. We got one whole jar of yeah. peanut butter here. That's a six, fifteen or sixteen ounce peanut butter. This one is a one pound, sixteen ounce. So that's it, folks. That's all there is to mix in it. And now the part, this over here, cooking it. This is the part a lot of people want to skip. Mama, is this pan over here what you're going to put it in? That, yeah. Huh? It's probably not a big enough. I may have Don't to you use usually put it in one of your others? I usually put it in a throwaway one, but I couldn't get to Mama's it. Mama's got this parchment paper grease bottom and top. I just the small top. I didn't put it on the bottom. No, we didn't grease on the bottom. Uh, so I can lift it out if I have to. But she has got it up on the sides a little bit so she can lift it out, she said. So this is what she's gonna pour it in. Will this be big enough, Mama? It might not. This is a first for me. I've never seen her do anything but a big old glass pan. How can you switch in that? Well, it was just handy. I've been putting it in those big uh, tinfoil pans, you know, the throw. The long ones? ones? Yeah, the long cookie sheet like. Mm -hmm. You're making one I'm not here. So this is thicker. This will be thicker. I'm not cooking for a whole bunch or not taking this no worse. This is... Jane's sharing this, what she's trying to say in a moment. Well, probably not. I'm not sure I do with it. Well, I hope you do with me. Well, I'm always sure with you. I know, but you change pants. I don't know what you're up to now. Well, we'll come over there when it gets ready for you to test it. 
I take you over there now, it's just gonna be Mama stirring up bowl of peanut or tear of peanut butter. Uh sure. Well, ain't no peanut butter. Ain't no peanut butter yet, but it looks it looks like the color peanut butter already. It's that beautiful. That cream is a creamy color. The evaporated milk has made it that creamy color of peanut butter. Hello from Plant City, Florida. Hey Mike, how are you? Good evening from Long Island. Hey, uh, Diane. I'm from Scotland. Well, hello, Vivian. Oh, yum, Sandy. You're going to love this peanut butter candy if you're not allergic to peanut butter. If you're allergic to peanut butter, I guess this just ain't the recipe for you because I don't know anything you, you know, I guess you can make sugar and cream, but. I'm glad I'm not allergic to peanut butter because it's sort of a staple. I keep a jar of peanut butter like that in, in my desk drawer. And sometimes that's lunch. And sometimes it's a snack to get me to lunch. Um, do y'all who work where you have a place to store food, do you have a jar of peanut butter handy just in case? Good evening from Hazard, Kentucky. Hey, Miss Wanda, how are you? Good evening from Georgia. Jan, how are you? Drop your, drop us a line on here. You just put the state you're from. So if you just have your name in Tennessee, and that way we'll at least know where y'all are from. That's one of Mama's favorite ha favorite uh, Jersey habits. It's not a habit. Uh, pastimes is to find out where y'all are from. So she'll tell me sometimes in the morning when she set up half the night looking. <laughs> there was two, three on there from Scotland. One from England. There was a bunch of folks. I said, well, Mama, it's daytime over there while you're up reading that. Holler us when you want to come over there, Mama. Well, it ain't done nothing yet. It'll be a while. It really will be. Do you all have any hay oh, moments? Snowman's nose is so crooked over there. <laughs> 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 I just now look His whole head looks crooked to me. He looks like his nose well, is in the right that's place. The way the thing is, the hand is. He looks it's... normal. He looks normal, Mama. Well, his nose is bent. I just now noticed. I think he's just looking down. I you see can see the cart tree cartoon. in the dining room. See it in there? That's the Coca Cola tree. Yes, we're going to take you on a tree tour. Mama's got... Did you finish that tree today? No, not hardly. Not hardly. I've got a couple more to do. A couple more to do. <laughs> oh, hi, Randy. I'm not a finisher. I've got three out there that's not finished. North Carolina. Hey, Tim. We love North Carolina. Uh, North Carolina is just our east, the eastern part of our state, we feel. Uh, we feel like you're at home. Knoxville. Brenda, you are home. We are home. Knoxville's our hometown, too. <laughs> Even though it's 50 miles away. Because that's where we go to this stuff. Bean Station. I don't know where Bean Station is, Patsy. Happy Tuesday, Rebecca and Daryl. How are you? Hey, Jan Bennett. Love the read. Uh, mm, did you buy that or make that, Mama? Uh, I believe that's the one that Miss Nanny Sue gave me for sure. Oh, that's friend, our family member. Miss Nanny Sue gave us no doubt. She was so crafty. Make anything, do anything. She was a good person. We miss her terribly. Sue from Arkansas. Well, hey, Miss Sue from Arkansas. You're just on the other end. Oh, love the snowman wreath. Uh, Barb, uh, our friend, our, well, I call her a friend. She is a friend. She was a friend, but she's also married to my mama's first cousin. And mama and her ran around. She was a part of the uh, lady group. In fact, she's the one that kind of introduced mama to all the ladies. I'm so thankful for that. So, um, she had been with the ladies group for years. And, uh, she took Mama with her, and Mama got right in there, and it's been a great thing. So, uh, missed her terribly. Uh, hello, Tamara. Carol Henson. Uh, Alabama. 
Hello, John and Mama. Hey, Katie. It's so good to see y'all here from Canada. Mama, here's the one from Canada. Norma Jean, you're from Canada? Tennessee, Pittsburgh. I like Tennessee, Canada. Pitt. We like Canada, too. We've been to Canada several times. Um, seems a shame not to just step over the border once in a while. But you know, out of all the borders I've dealt with, Canada's strict. Now, they're more strict, I think, than the southern borders um, when you're trying to get in and out. But in Canada, you better have everything together. Um, I don't know. The Mexico border is unloaded at best. The Mexico are. border is strict, uh, but it, they don't come on, like when you're traveling, they don't come on and ask for everybody's ID and, or birth certificates and all that. In Canada, you better show you stuff. Um... Hello from Alabama. Hey, Joanne. North Carolina, Miss Karen. North Carolina. We love North Carolina. We love South Carolina. Uh, that used to be, you know, Myrtle Beach used to be, we didn't even call it vacation. And I'm not trying to say, oh, we just start down there anytime. But we were going to Myrtle Beach, Lord willing, every year. And that was a special time for us that week. And it was always family, and we'd always get a condo, you know, in the hotel, where we have a balcony. And um, if we went somewhere else, we tried to do that in addition to going to our favorite place in, in Myrtle Beach. Even if we went anywhere, if we didn't get to Myrtle Beach, it just didn't seem right. So, you know, North Carolina, South Carolina, Charleston, and we'd always take a trip to Charleston. We love that whole area. It's Southern. If you've never been to Charleston, uh, check it out. If you've never been to North Carolina or South Carolina, go. Enjoy. Um, two beautiful states. Somerset, Kentucky. Well, Wanda, you're just up the street. You're not too far away. Pennsylvania. That's a bad word. Mama was in Pennsylvania last year. Yeah. Or this, this, this year. year. This year, just actually a couple of months ago, wasn't it? When was um, it? In October, we went to the Amish country. What did October? We went to Amish country. I don't know where all you've been. You were in Pennsylvania this year. That's. One thing about Pennsylvania, we went to the Liberty Bell. Boy, they've got tight security. You're in security every level, or we was. Maybe we just look shifty. <laughs> take your belt off, take your shoes off. It, but this was years ago. They may have changed. Back in the day. Uh... J&M Recipes. Nola is J&M Recipes, and she does post recipes. Um, you'll see the J on here. That's J&M. It's for John and Mama Recipes. Hello from Pennsylvania. Hey, Charlotte. A lot of PAs on here. Hey, Lisa. Thanks for those stars. you got a little starburst going on there. I love to go visit Amish farms. I did do, Sheila. We enjoyed it so much. Indiana. Thank you for those stars. Who just sent that? We had a Nancy lady got on the bus. An Amish lady got on the bus with her two boys. And uh, she signed for us. It was so pretty. We really enjoyed it. What did she sing? Uh, it was one of her older Y'all notice Mama didn't holler at us. Mama. Uh, you didn't want us over here, did you? This is the old-fashioned way before the candy thermometer. And this needs, what is this, firm ball? Soft, hard ball. Hard ball stage. I don't get it hard Mama don't quite go there. She does a soft ball, but a firm ball that'll stay together. 
Now all this is, is sugar, a can of cream, six cups of sugar. A dash of salt. And a dash of salt. So if you're wondering what on earth, that's what that is. If you boiled six cups of sugar, a whole can of evaporated milk and a dash of salt, that's what you'd have. See our little water over here? Pour that out. I'm sorry to say that. I know. I've worked with you before. You have. At one time. <laughs> you want warm water? No, cold. Cold water. Cold water, so it'll make a bottle. So here's fresh cold water. Fresh cold water. And she's timing this. No, I'm not timing it. I'm just watching the temperature on it. I mean, the, the heat. I don't want it to boil over. I've cut it way down. Yeah, but you're, you know about how long you've been stirring, don't you? No. I just how do you know how long it takes to get to this hard, firm, softball stage? That's the reason the cold water, I drop it in there. Is this the stage you've made up, or is it hardball, softball? And... No, I didn't make it <laughs> I don't well, want a softball, but I don't want a hardball. Well, it says a hardball. A hardball. I like for my candy to be soft. soft, but yet you can hold it. Right. And if you get it at a real hard So you ball, make it a firm... Yeah, it'll hold together. Uh, if you get it too hard, then then your candy will get. Now, hard. do you have to put the peanut butter in there real fast, or is this something? Much, uh, now, what about vanilla flavoring? No. No. The peanut butter is the flavoring. Mmm, that's good flavor. You put a stick of butter in the peanut. Butter. You have a stick of butter already? Uh, yeah, I need a. Case knife put out the cut it so it can touch the milk. You, you want soft butter? Or? No, I think it's good. Okay. It's good. Well, we we uh, we chatted and talked about where we different places they're from, and then we come over here and you tried to do it without us. We can't trust her, folks. She won't tell you. She won't say, come up here and, and watch because she's really thinking, you didn't go over and sit down and get out of my kitchen. Now, you see that? It's like Bring it over here close, Mom. A soft bowl. There's the candy dropped in the cold water. Is that what you want it? I'm going to let it cook just a few more minutes. If you'll pour it out and get me fresh yes, water. I'm here to serve, Mom. I reckon you are. Whatever you need, you let me know. I know I'm going to be so proud that I got up tonight. Oh. To come over here. <laughs> are you in proud? All you people are always talking about it. Go ahead and put on there. We're proud of you, John. You got up. <laughs> You're helping Mama. I help you like once a week anyway, don't I? Oh, more than that. Once a day. You'll get a pad and put over it. It's over there. Oh, you done got it? Mama, I've watched you do this before. Yeah, how? I know how you are. If you keep it on high, it'll stick. Bad, yeah, it's sugar. It'll stick, folks. You're working with marshmallows here. That's the reason a lot of people use marshmallow cream. That right there is marshmallows. Now, Mama didn't put marshmallows, but when you cook sugar... That's what you're dealing with. So if you're wondering, hmm, and yes, that is a hot mess and it's dangerous. If you get it on, you won't come off. It sticks like glue. Yeah, and it burns to the bone. It's a blister, a good blister. Be careful, be careful, ever so careful. I don't know if it's... Now, Mama stirred and boiled on this for about, about two days. Feels like it. About two days she's been working on this. Now let's watch this close. You just drop you some in there. And cold water. Cold water. And it'll make a little... And you take your finger 
and you make that little, what you do is you're just cooling it off. And that makes a hard ball, and this one will hold together. See? Well, it didn't look like it was holding together, but when I make a ball, it'll hold. And you want it to be... Uh-uh, don't put it in there. I'm not putting it in there. I'm just showing it holds. Okay. You want it to be like that so you can... Um, it'll be firm, and it, but it will still be soft enough to touch. I think I'm going to take it out. Okay. Because this one's... See how it made? Yeah. It's good. So you're through with it? Yeah, let it, let it die. And the reason for that is? It'll boil out or slosh if you tilt it. At least a little bit. Mm -hmm. I figured there was a mama reason for standing there. <laughs> Don't take it just yet. You wait. You gotta know your your room. Read that room. Read that room. And then I have to put butter in there. This will cool it down because it's been in the refrigerator. Hold stick, folks. No judgment. Rich candy. It's rich. Don't take half a pound to get satisfied. A little piece of. I eat one little piece and I'm like, that was a lot. Now, Mama, she'll graze around on it. That's what I have to watch for. It's good. She'll say, I just ate a little bit, but she had a little bit all day. Now, see, it's already cooled down with it better. And the butter starts to melt. Cools the candy down a little bit. Could you put this in the microwave and heat it and pour it in there? Well, so it helps set your candy so you don't have to stir so long. Oh. Um, you get stirred all that butter's melted? Well, I'm wanting to get it melted because. You're wanting to get the butter melted and I'm wanting to get the candy cooled. Well, this butter cooled it good because. Well, I've had it laying out a little while, but not the long time. Mm -mm. I guess you can put it in there. My brother's done. All right, folks. I'm going to try to do this. You can see. <laughs> Don't embarrass me in front of all my friends. Bachelor might have worked I, You think? Yeah, it might have worked better. This was your I already know, set I, up. I wish you I wish you knew a Tupperware lady. You could get you some good spatulas. spatulas. Oh my goodness. You reckon I could? Yeah. I want to see if I can find one. I ain't using that no more. You get that off there. I do know a Tupperware lady. Mm -hmm. And I know she has some stuff. And it works like a charm. Look here. Ha ha. A case knife. You don't do I'm like this. Good. I didn't have all those fancy specials. But you do now. I know. But it's hard to change it. No, no. You just gotta change them. You know, I'm not good. You ain't gonna, are you? I'm not good to change. Well, look what change will get you. A clean jar. Yeah, pretty delicious drop, except that drop that just flung over on my shirt. Uh-oh, I didn't do that. No, nope, it was on me, Mom. I, I'm guilty a lot of the times. Yeah, you baptized me. She tried to cut me today. Oh, listen at the poor little thing. I started to call the police. I thought, this needs to be reported. But I didn't. You waved your hand. Mama, you. And just as I moved the knife. Just tell them you tried to cut me. No, I didn't. If I'd have tried, I would have done it. And then, after she about knocked my hand off with a knife blade, she looks me dead. Look at that. Now, that's actually, that gets the peanut butter. She looks me dead in the eye, that's serious as a judge, as they say, and say, did I hit you with that knife? <laughs> uh, you think? Whew. You 
you got to watch her. She tried to bring me twice last week, once with that kettle. Then, today, we were opening a box that came. And I reached, she, she told me, she said, look at this and see what, I reached for it like this. And when I did, she came up underneath me and hit my hand with a knife blade. So sad. Tried to cut them off. So Tell your friends the truth. So sad. Tell your friends the truth. Flip that pad over. Yes, ma'am. That help cool it down. Outside, now, what about this? It ain't on no pad. Well, it'll cool down. Would you like for me to stir that? If you want to. I'll get some of this garbage off this table. Once again, I can use that spatula to stir this. Mama will not change. She don't want the new way. I get too easy and I'll get soft in my old. Oh, I know. You want to put your pan over here? Now, now, this is new. This is totally uncharacteristically new. Uh, to put something in a different pan than she's ever used before. We're making I may have to make a little pan too. We're making great strides here. I wanted you to say just eat one piece of candy in this one. You gonna put a hot pad under that? No. What's, no. what's your pleasure? Now that's right right there. I've got to get the sticky out of my fingers. I'm sticking together. This is starting to glaze over. I'm gonna tell you one secret. When you're pouring this up, I don't care what you're pouring it up in. Don't smooth it out. Let nature take its course. It will go into the corners. If you start, you see, you see how this is getting crystallized looking on top when I'm not stirring. As soon as you pour that in that cold pan, it's going to start setting up a little bit. If you start daubing with it and smearing with it, it's going to be ugly. So, just get rid of the spoon. You won't be needing it. I do need it. You didn't clean off the side. Well, Mama. I've had to make this whole thing of candy by myself. Oh, Lord, bless your heart. You're ready. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. And just don't pour so fast. Let's see how full it is. This is okay. heavy. Yes, it's heavy. You're going to have to get another pan. That's good. You can ripple it like this, but do not touch that with a spoon. Might be a pan. You leave that alone, because if you touch it with a spoon right now, it's going to show. Every time you touch it, it's going to show. And you're going to be saying, I wish I'd left that alone. I guess I'll just have to eat that part. So we're gonna make a little pan too. This one will be thin. My mom will leave this one with you tomorrow. Well, you're gonna leave it out with me. Oh, well, I guess y'all heard that. I'm afraid not to because she's already tried to cut me today. It's an evident fact she would. I don't know, it's good. It's getting colder and colder and colder. Mm -hmm. Get it up there. Yeah, now hurry. Now hurry, she says. I thought it was too soft. Spread that good. I'm gonna think I might work on my Christmas tree. I'll eat me a bite of candy and work a little bit. Need another bite of candy. Yeah, that's the problem right there. On a separate note, if you know anybody who'd like to stay with elderly people during the day while their children work, contact me. And 
you can shake it. This one's not gonna be a pretty pan no matter what we do. You can shake it, but That's don't touch it. it. Don't touch it with a fork or a spoon or anything. You can't hardly shake it with that wax paper, with that parchment paper. So what'd you do with it? I couldn't find it in there. I don't know where I played it. It might be up on top of that freezer. It's probably in a special place for special occasions. I don't use it much because I've got these sheets. But, uh, but now look at the big box, the big pot. Pan. John, what is wrong? See how pretty and smooth that is? That's, you tried to bring me again. No, your hand's in the way. Mama. <laughs> See how beautiful that is? That's some beautiful fudge. Now this one here, he's okay. At least he ain't got no f uh, spoon dobbles. Let me show you. This one's not the best. If you start trying to do this, see how that looks? Ugly. Ugly. You, yeah. You're not going to get a pretty piece there. It's yeah, going to be I'll just... i have to eat that whole pan if you keep doing see it. See what I'm saying? I <laughs> wanted you to see what not to do right there. And there ain't nothing you do about it. Mama will eat this whole pan no matter what we do to it. I'll have to find a place to hide it tomorrow. No, you can't. Oh my God. I'll put it in the dishwasher. I can find Easter eggs good. I'll I'm put sure. it in the dishwasher. She'll never go in there unless she's ready to camp. That'd be the first place I'd look if it's hiding something. Let's taste this off this. See, it's already set up. Mm -hmm. That's going to set up perfectly. Mm mm mm. Look in the pants of this part. You always. Or I, licking it off the camera. I had a hard time with you and your daddy. Turn your camera on you sometimes. Mama, I was trying to stuff hands at him. You both wanted to lick the pans and stuff. <laughs> and if he was here, he'd have to have some of it. So what she would do, she'd scrape the pan herself out in two little bowls. And we each got a bowl and she licked the pan. Yeah, they usually wasn't. Excuse me, much left in the pan. I cleaned up the counter. I don't care to eat pe hot peanut butter candy right off the table. And look, that right there was my. I wouldn't care about the whole kettle. I just want that spoon. I feel your spoon full and give it to you a lot mm -hmm. of times. I was satisfied with that. For a few minutes. <laughs> my granny would be proud. Mm -hmm. Tastes just like hers. Absolutely delicious. Folks, if you've never made good old fashioned, now I, like I said, I'm not here to say a word about you folks that use shortcuts because I love a good shortcut. <laughs> but if you've never made good old fashioned fudge, cook it away, give it a whirl. At least know the difference. The mailman, a few pieces. Yeah, the mailman, the UPS man, the guy. Let's read this recipe one more time. Get your pencil out. Get your piece of notebook paper. I'm getting ready to recite a recipe. You don't hear notebook paper no more, Holly, do you? Or I don't. They probably don't even use it anymore. Mom, don't be so old fashioned. <laughs> this is called Peanut Butter Fudge Grannies, and it's Miss, my Granny Lena. But I call it Mama's Homemade Fudge because my mama's made it my whole life, and that's a pretty good one. So you're going to need six cups of sugar, and don't don't be asking about sugar substitute. Never used it, especially in this. I have used sugar substitute in other things, but not this. You do what you feel. I guess monk fruit and some of those others might work the same. I don't know. So for this recipe... I'd stick straight to what we got going on. So it's six cups of sugar, white granulated sugar, a dash of salt, half a teaspoon ish. Just dash, dash is what I do. Like you're putting salt on your plate. One large can of evaporated milk. We call it cream. Mm -hmm. This is not, I cannot tell you what mess you'll be in. This is not condensed. It's not Eagle Brand, as we call it. It's not. It's just plain old evaporated milk in a can. Cream, like some people put in their coffee kind of cream. Six cups of sugar, dash of salt, and one large can of cream, evaporated milk. 
and you boil that together as you sing, and it takes a minute, and that's that boiling, creamy sauce that was in here. When it forms a hard ball in cold water, then add one stick of butter. Now, I take it off the heat. Butter. Take it off the heat. Use you some real butter. Now, a lot of people use margarine, but we can just use butter. Don't use margarine. One stick of butter, and then add 16 ounce jar of peanut butter, and we are not sponsored, but we do use GIF. Stir until cool. That's what we did here. But not cold. You want it to still be flowing. You want it to flow in that pan like that. Time you get your butter in there, it will cool it down a lot. Time you put your peanut butter in there, it's going to cool it down a little bit more. That's cool enough. You've seen what we did and there. And if you bring your spoon up out of the, the let the air hit it all around, it cools it down a little too. Or your Tupperware spatula. That's mm -hmm. what I would use. And you pour into a buttered dish. Now you can use um, any kind of oven safe dish that's going to be hot. It's not going back to the oven. Probably when you have to be oven safe, just be, you can use any dish, I guess, as long as it would hold the heat of what it is and it's not going to be that hot. And you add nuts if desired. Do not I desire to have nuts. nuts. I mean, they do add it. And it says Jif Rain Cream, 16 ounce jar of peanut butter. You put right that on there. It looks like my writing. Mm -hmm. Folks, that's it. It's mm -mm, delicious. Uh, gets you. It's pure peanut butter. No. No nothing else. No nothing. And it'll stay nice and soft, and it, it's so good. <laughs> Mommy, anything you want to add tonight? Let's see if anybody's asking questions. Good Let's evening, John and Mama. Oops, I meant. Jeff is the best, yes, ma'am, Rebecca. Uh, salted. That's Nola. I don't know Nola. It, it's Jeff salt. It's Jeff regular. Yeah. She said no vanilla earlier. No, no vanilla flavored in this. I asked the same question. Um, Granny never did put it. Cause loved your mama's fudge, Mark. Uh... If you have any questions, you can go back and watch it. Mama went pretty well on this one. We don't steer from this recipe at all. I'll you could you. put vanilla in if you want it, but there's a whole jar of peanut butter. And if you did put vanilla, don't go really crazy with it. Or so oh, the more vanilla, the better. It'll have that little bit of a taste to it. The and peanut butter is what's powerful in it. It's good. The whole jar. How many Oz? How many ounces? <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> How many ounces would be a large can of milk? It was uh, a 16 ounce can. I think it's 12. What did I read? 16? Peanut butter was a pound, 16 ounces. Yeah. I think I'll Mama's done third of the way, but I she's going to look at another one. She says she thinks it's 12 ounces. We'll get you an update on that right now in a minute, Pam. Thank you for the first palace. Twelve fluid ounces. Twelve fluid ounces. Jamie, it's simple, but it's this so is, good. This is Kroger. I use Dollar Store brand, Save Lot brand, any of them. Joan, I guess you could make it with crunchy peanut butter. Yeah, they have before. It's not. I don't see no problem with that. No. Hey, Angela. Angela Britt. Angela, we got our JFG salad dressing. I've got it over here under the tree because it is truly a present. <laughs> and Angela, I put my note from Amazon right here head. because I thought, I've got to remember to say that. Angela, you are just too kind. You know, Angela sent Mama of those Tupperware figurines. Oh, they're beautiful. And all of her friends at Tupperware loved them. She showed them to them the other night and they were all loving them. And they said that those were given as prizes all through the years back in the day. And uh, Mama loves them. They're displayed out in the center. You'll see them again because they're out there on our shelf. But um, then she turns around, Angela, and she writes me and says, you're expecting a package. I said, not another one? She said, yes. And she sent us four 
bangs of JFG salad dressing. And yes, I and still he had. And was tickled to death. With it was like my birthday. I said. Here they are. I'm so excited. Well, the reason really I was so excited. It's Christmas already, and you put them under the tree. I did put them under the tree. The <laughs> uh, reason I was so excited, you know, back in the summer, y'all sent me some, but those were all close dated. These were wedding dated out to. I'll get through summer next year with these. <laughs> so uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And Angela, we do appreciate you so much. Angela's been with us since the beginning. Oh, I think yes, she's a. Wonderful. She was. She's been with us. She sent us a big old box of food, and I, we ate on that. Um, forever. Forever. I think we still have those split peas. We were going to boil. Or did you make split peas? We made split peas. We made split peas. They found them, finally. But uh, one of my friends gave me some more peas, split peas. Okay. <coughs> uh -oh. All right, folks, I'm going to get out from here, and I'm going to eat the peanut butter off the spoon. I'm going to let it go to waste, and I'm going to let Mama have that pan. Oh, I've never got to lick the pan, hardly. Mm -hmm. You can have this whole pan if you want to, Mama. Yeah, I'm not. Just, if you, I just want you to break it up and eat it over the next two weeks. Two <laughs> weeks? I could eat that tomorrow. Mama, I tell you what. We'll make a deal. No, we won't, because you won't. For every piece of peanut butter candy you eat, if you'll drink eight ounces of good cold <laughs> water, then it'll balance out a whole lot better. <coughs> Don't start that coffin business tonight, just because it's got... <coughs> I ate one little crumbs. <laughs> That's the Lord telling you. Don't, Don't overdo it. it. Don't need it. We're going to be careful during this season. And you other people who have diabetes, be careful. I don't have it, thank the Lord. <coughs> because I've never been big on sweets. Now, I'm big on starch. Give me some macaroni and cheese, starchy mashed potatoes, all that I'll eat. Meat, I'll eat. Um, and I love this. But, like, even when I was a kid, we would keep Halloween candy and the mama would take it, but... November, I should take it to church and give it out of church because I wouldn't eat it. I did. Yeah, I don't care for <coughs> a little bit of sweet. Like, what's on this spoon? That'll be enough for me. Mama, what's in that pan? Get her started. Um, but you know, I tell you what, I'll be fair with you. Okay, you take this pan and I'll take this pan. Say that again. I said, you take this pan, and I'll take this pan. This one's paper thin and ugly. That one's beautiful and thick. Mama. I, I don't want you to be... To I'm going to leave you this pan. No. Tomorrow, and it'll probably all be gone. No. But I'm going to leave you this pan, and I'm going to take care of that one. You're not going to mess with this one. Because I've taken it, and you can have that one. She's gonna what are you going to do with this peanut butter candy? I'm going to hide it from my sweet mama. Oh, no. That's not hide candy. That's not nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh -uh. Mama said the other day, and this is how far I'm off. This is how far this year has got a hold of me. I'm just going to be honest. Saturday, she said, I have not even started my candies. And I said, Mama, it's a little early to be making candy. You know, you'll eat on it until Christmas. She said, Christmas is week after next. And it's late. And I said, my chin. Well, do y'all realize that? Do you realize that? This is the 12th. 13 more days. 13 days is Christmas. If you're going to be making candy, you're going to be giving to the mailman and to the people that, that you care for. That is... Close 13 days. We then went through 12 like that. 13 ain't going to be that much harder to get to. In fact, it'll probably go faster and faster. Oh, yeah. I can't believe how fast this month has gone. Today was, we got up early. What, before 6? I got up at 5. I got up before 6. And it's... 7.15? It was 6.30 before we started this. And I said... What happened to the day? Well, it was gone. It's gone. Like us. And We're I didn't to. get to take no nap either. We're gone too. <laughs> We're gone. We're out of here tonight. We're going to leave you fine folks alone. Uh, some of you might want to up some peanut butter candy. Mama, say good night to the folks. Good night, folks. <laughs> <laughs> she says whatever I tell her to. Some people say, why do you say good night, Mama? And she says, because he told me to. 
In case you're wondering why she says that every night, I said to her one night, we were sitting here, and I said, say good night, mama. She said, good night, mama. <laughs> and ever since then, I laughed so hard. And ever since then, <laughs> That's what I she says it just to be funny. Um, so. Good night, mama, and God bless you, child. That's it. And y'all have a blessed night. Bye, y'all. Bye-bye. <laughs>